डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस गो टू स्टडी अबाउट द जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ फाइलम्स जनरल जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ फाइलम वन बाय वन सो यू रिमेंबर आई विल टेक द इन नॉन प्रोडक्ट टॉपिक इन नॉन प्रोडक्ट टॉपिक आई विल टेक फ्रॉम एनिलिडा ऑनवर्स एनिलिडा ऑनवर्स फाइलम यू रिमेंबर फाइलम एनिलिडा अप टू एक्नो डॉमेटा एक्नो डॉमेटा यू नो वेरी वेल देर आर टोटल हाउ मेनी फाइलम्स नाइन फाइलम्स नाइन फाइलम्स इन विच वन इज प्रोटोदोवा सेकेंड पोरिफेरा थर्ड सिलेंट्रेटा फोर्थ फैटेलिटस फिफ्थ वन अस्केलिटस सिक्स वन एनिलिडा तो सिक्स एनिलिडा सेवेंथ आर्थ्रोपोडा एट्थ सेवेंथ आर्थ्रोपोडा एट मोलस्का एंड नाइन्थ एक्नोडर्मिटा सो आर्थ्रोपोडा Mollusca, Echinodermata. So all these I will take. You remember, I will take this. And remaining these will be taken by will be taken by the madam. Later we will come to know that who is that madam, the name of that madam. So you remember here up to here I will not take. And remaining only these will take. So we shall start with the phylum Annelida. We shall start with phylum Annelida. I have written already here. You remember. This is the phylum Annelida. You can say the phylum Annelida. The term itself indicates that the general character, so this is characteristic feature of Annelida. So you remember here Annelida. So actually the body is made by a large number of the annulus. Their body is made by large number of annulus. So as per the Greek terminology, as per the Greek terminology, the Annelida. They have got the body layers like so here. It is made of a large number of ring-like structures, annulus. These are called annulus. And these, just to remember that the sources pile one upon the other like this way here. And it looks like body is made of a ring-like structure. And these are called the annulus. So the body is made by the number of the rings fused together and form a elongated structure. And that is said to be the annulus. Annulus means rings. So their body is made by a large number of ring-like structures and lizards elongated body. So that is called the annelida. Annelida means annular. Their body is made by annulus. So here the general characters. What are the general characters here? So actually these are the distributed all over the world. You can say distribution. They are all over the world. They are seen. They are able to seen. So there, the number is ranges from eighty more than eighty seven thousand species all over the world, including the India also. There are the number of means eighty seven thousand more because only we are able to identify up to here. Still, there are so many the unidentified, unidentified, unnamed the any lines are there. Still, they are there, but we are able to make out only. 87 species all over the world. So here, there the geographical distribution. That means the geographical distribution is all over the world. You are able to see anywhere, any part of the world you can go. There you are, you are able to see. So what is the cephalization? The term cephalization means head connected with the, or concerned with the head. And this head cephalization means head. You remember, and they show the first initiation of the head. Or the initiation of the cephalization. These the annulus of the these annelids actually the uh, body is made by number of ring-like structures and these are called the uh, uh, structures annular annelids. And there what you can see here that body is anterior. The body is anterior made up of just like the anterior region here you can see that is that shows the initiation of the head. That shows initiation of the head. So you, you can say. These are the first, the living forms in the invertebrates. They are the first, and they shows initiation or the formation of the head. Head means you know very well. What are the head characters? Eyes, nose, or you can say the ears as well the brain. Maximum you can say that the brain with some other sense organs. Brain with sense organs, and that is the anterior part of the body. So that is called the head. So here head is also termed the cephal, cephalo. Cephalo means nothing but the head so formation of head initiation of the formation of the head is called the cephalization so let us go to the next habit and habitat so last time we have studied that what is the habit and the habitat habit and habitat means habit means mode of 
life, living style, or say living life, mode of life of the animal. And habitat means where it is able to live, or you can say where it is survive, or you can say resident. Better say that the res residing place of animal is called the habitat. So here the habitat and habitat means they are aquatic, or you can say both. They are the aquatic. Aquatic as well as terrestrial, both type terrestrial. And in case of the aquatic, no variable again. There are the two types one is marine and freshwater. Here, both. And the terrestrial means they are the borrowing forms of the land. So, you, you have already studied in the previous class. So, here you can say that the habitat, habitat means living place, and they are able to see in the aquatic. They are seen. They are able to form in the aquatic as marine forms. Some of them are the marine form and some of them are freshwater forms. Some of them are marine, some of them are freshwater forms. And the next, the remaining organism is the terrestrial. So you take the typical example earthworm comes from the annelida. Annelida means a typical example earthworm. So you might be seen that you earthworm. Where it is seen? It is subterrestrial in design. It is subterrestrial making burrows. And how do you make out that? Suppose if it is the living here, this is the area, and here it shows the casting like this. Way. It shows the casting. On that basis, we are able to see here there is, you can say here inside that, there is an elongated uh, earthworm is there, you can say like this. Way. You can see, we are able to see that the presence of earthworm indicates casting on the surface of the ground. So they are the terrestrial means subterrestrial forming the burrows. And you remember here body wall. When you come across the body wall, so again body wall is last time also again we have studied that the body wall. The body wall is what is the body wall? Body wall means layers. It is made by triploblastic. It is called triploblastic. Triploblastic means body ectoderm. It is you can say this is ectoderm. And inside there is mesoderm. This is called the mesoderm. Mesoderm. And inside there is endoderm. This is you can see this is the endoderm. Endoderm. And actually what happens here? The inside there is the here this is you can see digestive system. Later we can discuss that. Huh? So remember here. The outermost layer is called the ectoderm, middle layer is called the mesoderm, and inner is called the endoderm. So, like this way, the body wall, their body wall is made by three layers. So, they are called the triploblastic forms. The annelidans are triploblastic in nature. Triploblastic means three layers. Their body wall is made by three layers. And once the body wall is made by the three layers, again you may come across the body cavity. What is the body cavity? Body cavity means shiloh or the body cavity. So here, the, they are actually, the annelids are eosilomids. They are eosilomids. U means true silomes. Eosilomids means true silome. So here you can say, once again, I will show you that. If this is the body wall, this is the outermost layer, and inner mesoda, Middle one you can say, this is the mesoda. Here you can say mesoda. And in between this, the inner. Here you can say mesoda. And below this there is endoda. You can say this is the endoda. This is the endoda. And this is the elementary canal. This is called the Elementary canal, you can say this is the elementary canal. Elementary canal means digestive system. Later, you come to know that while studying the, the cylindrate onwards, the enteron or the gastron will be developed. The, while studying the general characters, you may come across the what are the characteristic feature cylindrate onwards that shows the a digestive tract will be developed. And here, a well developed digestive tract, and that is called the intestine or the gast intest enteron of the intestine. So, in between the intestine as well as the endoderm, this is the ecto, this is the meso, 
and this is the endo and between this endo as well as the this is the digestive system is it digestive system and this is here we are able to see the, the cavity this is called the cavity and this cavity filled so you can say this is the true cavity or the true silom inside that in between the endoderm and the intestine there is you can say here this is the a cavity and this cavity is present the cavity cavity is present and it is well developed so there is the true silom means real cavity or real silom is present in the in these animals you can say so there is the u silomates so next you can say god you can go there the segmentation so segmentation is the characteristic feature of the anilina segmentation is the characteristic feature of anilina because in the beginning i have told that this term itself indicates that the animals are made by a large number of a large number of ring like structures ring like structures you can say the earth here you can say this is here you can say this is the earth like this here and it is made by a large number of ring like structures like this here here it is made by a ring like structure outer external like this way it is here so like this way. so later we can discuss hmm? so the body wall is made by large number of so that is called a metamorphically segmented body is the upper you can say metamorphically like this and the segmentation is correspond to the inner segments also like this way. so it is here so the external segmentation and inner segmentation also they are correspond with the inner internal or you can say inner segment segmentation so as a result of what happens the body looks like just like made up of large number of ring like structure so that was the segmentation is the characteristic feature of anilina segmentation is the characteristic feature of anilina and this body layer is lined with a thin cuticle you can say this is lined with thin cuticle as we have got the epidermis like this here it is slimy and that helps to take moment or this sense the uh, slip on the surface of the inside the borrow so you can say there is a thin it is made by or you can say covered by very thin cuticle this is just like a, our as we have got the nails outermost layer that gives the protection the cuticle it is hard structure thin layer hard structure and that gives the protection to the inside the uh, body wall of the muscles or the layer so that is called the external layer is covered by a thin cuticle that's a cuticle here it is like the cuticle and so later you can come across the locomotion locomotion what is the locomotion locomotion means most of the living things shows that the movement and this movement is brought out by the muscles remember annular line ring like structure like this here is made by annular and these are made by a longitudinal circular muscles as well as longitudinal muscles it is made by the two types of the muscles longitudinal muscles as well as the circular muscles there are two types longitudinal and the circular muscles longitudinal and the circular muscles they help in the contraction as well as the expansion contraction means compress expansion means elongation as a result of contraction and the elongation you might be knowing that while studying the earthworm on this surface of the ground so part of the body will be contract and pull apart and back that will be pulled front so, so like that way they show the locomotion so here you remember the locomotion locomotion takes place or the locomotive organs are the muscles as well as sitae sitae so here they are having like this way. they are having sitae like this way. they are embedded inside like this here they help to anchor they help to anchor the ground or can say they are fixed to the ground and as a result of the body will be pulled as well as the put forward and like that way the body will be put forward and back body will be pulled forward like that way this is the locomotion so here the locomotive organs are muscles as well as sitae remember what are the lo locomotion is common and locomotion of the locomotive organs are muscles as well as the sitae they help to take movement in the water as well as 
the land also. In case of the water living, they shows the just like a uh, by means of the undulating movement like this way. Undulating movements in the uh, water they shows and so the muscles help to contraction of the expansion that results in locomotion. So in the simple term you remember muscles and the city. Let us go to the digestion here. So digestion means no very well. Digestive system the most of the higher animals you are able to see that digestive system is there and they that digestive system helps in digestion of the food whatever you take. So here also what about the digestive system is in lower forms that is in lower form means in the initial lower as well as the diploblastic animals the cell itself shows that the digestion. So there are the intracellular but here that called the digestion is extra. Extra means remember the extracellular digestion. Digestion is extracellular. Intra means within the cell. Extra means outside the cell but in definite a digestive tract it is enteron or the gastron or digestive system in which the digestion takes place and that is called the extracellular digestion and digestive system is complete here digestive system is complete you can say extracellular as well as complete you remember what does it mean complete so digestive system in lower form that is the incomplete 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 means not completely well developed digestive system as you know that digestive system starts from mouth to anus it starts from mouth and opens into the anus so this is called a complete digestion system 